All right, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to your channel. It's your boy Jesse Flores, and we have another video here. It's an upgrade for the Silverado. As you guys can tell by the title, it's the V Land New Gen headlights. I haven't seen much video about that. Are they supposed to be a new gen style? Not this uh, uh, OEM look from 2016 from 2018. So we're gonna see how how well it turns out. From what it looks like, it's like a, it looks like a really good headlight. Uh, I paid a uh, $600 for them. So you can find them at Amazon and of course eBay, but I'm gonna try to do it myself because I know this one has connections and normally I call up Henry to do that stuff, but it says it's a plug and play. Hopefully it is that easy. But uh, if, it is, if it's not, then you're most likely you're gonna see me at Henry's house so he could do the connections. Right now, first thing first, get access to the headlights. I got the cover, we're gonna take out the grill. And from there, you have to go inside the wheel well because there's a bunch of bolts right there. Now, if you're wondering, look how it looks right here. I got in a car accident. I hear switched out my bumpers and everything, but I did want to, you know, switch up my headlight. So that's why this, this video is, so you can check out this new product right here. But uh, first thing first, I'm removing the plastics. Pop them up and get the, don't, don't forget a flathead. That's the easy step right now. And then you have four bolts. One, two, three, four. And you're gonna need a 10 uh, millimeter socket. That sucks. Boy got in the accident. It wasn't my fault, everybody. Right now, insurance is doing a battle right now. It's crazy because uh, there is another headlight that costs like a thousand, like five hundred. But I think that that's uh, of course, it's a lot of money. Not because the, my radios cost the same thing, but but I thought these look better because those actually look like a uh, Nuja. And this other one, I think it was like maybe the first year. The first year they did it and then they try to make it like that when the new gen came out which is the 2019. this one barely came out last year from what i know uh this headlights it came out last year that's pretty cool that this company still does like uh maybe aftermarkets for like trucks like these four bolts there's about two hinges on each side and so right here you gotta you know get a little manpower right there some elbow grease Oh, one, two, three, four. This is the first look. I haven't opened it. The box is right there. It comes in a white box, and it has a little description of how it looks right here. Now I'm gonna get my knife, and I'm gonna start opening everything up. Wow. Now this is where I'm, I'm fearing because like, look, look how we have to do connections. I know a little bit of the wiring, but not, not too advanced. But you know what? We're gonna see if we can make it happen or not. Boom. How's it look, you guys? It look pretty good, huh? Now, Let's do a side by side comparison so you guys can see like how it looks. So there's your regular OEM ones. And check this one out. Now what I made by new gen because it has this LED bar. And then uh, that's what the new gens are, that type of style. So this is where you're gonna be the new replacement. I was thinking of getting like OEMs, but if you look at that side, look how beat up they are. And these are already broken. What can I do? There's the company, VLAN. And if you look at it, it looks like plug and play, right? So right now, that's just a, you know, my first impression, it looks pretty good. Uh, I didn't receive anything else besides those two headlights. Hopefully everything turns out good because everything looks like I could, I could just plug it. So we're gonna remove the bolts. You have one on top. You got one next to it. You have one in the inner fender, which is broken because I got in an accident. But uh, I think there's one more right here in the bottom, right here. 
And so we're gonna take out four boats total, I, I believe. If not, there's more. I'll let you guys know. Yeah, it's like already broken. <laughs> this, you guys, this is where the bumper filler goes. Again, I lost a chrome trim when I got in an accident and I lost the bumper filler, so I have to get a new bumper filler. But you'll see right now how to, look how broken it is, there you go. Look how broken it is. I got this at least. I got the other one right here. And so we're gonna remove it right now. You can see like how loose it got because I think the bottom one right here and the bottom where the fender's at, it's broken. Yeah, and it is broken. It's right here, look. That's where, that's the, the one in the inner fender or inside the bumper, you could say. But it's broken because, like I said, we got an accident, everybody. There's a safety clip right here. There's a red one. You just pull it back. You pull it back and you pick it up. And this thing sucks because it's so old. There it is. That's one. All right, guys. So normally, like I said, I lost my bumper filler. And that's where is the gap between the bumper and the headlight. And as you can see, I lost my chrome uh, trim that holds that. So I had to buy a new one. And then the reason why I'm saying that because the other one, I still have it. And I have to remove it and put it on a new one. These are the hinges that we're gonna clip on in those areas. Uh, you see right here, that's where they are. That's, a, that's the, it's easy. I just wanted to show you guys that. Like you have to just clip this on. Get in the nice angle. If we're gonna put this in. There you go, you see how it's clicking? And that's it. Luckily my car is black. I have to, how do you say, paint match it. But uh, I actually, uh, I'm actually considering doing like a whole blackout trim. Maybe, maybe not. So maybe just paint that but uh that's another feature video but right now since i have this already like kind of like put out together i'm gonna just put this one on first so you can see like a comparison like how the oem looks and then the aftermarket looks so right now let's just put all this back all right now i'm just checking to see if everything's like nice and clipped in which it feels like it is and then a uh, cool thing it comes with like hinges already so i don't gotta take out the oem to put this one on everything pretty much is ready to go for me so let's do this Here's the, the harness, the wire harness. Let's put that in there. Clip everything back. All right, now let's put the boats on. There we go, guys, so four boats. Buy them. Buy them. Okay. And the other one's right there. I think I want to tie this one. This is the one that's kind of, kind of hidden. Let's put this one on there. That's it. Now let's do the peel. Eww. How's it looking, guys? Now let's look at this side. You know what? Let me back up the truck. Maybe it'll turn on. I don't know. You're gonna see right now, I'm gonna back it up so you guys could get a, a clear view of what the OEM looks and what the new aftermarket looks. It's plug and play. So right now, I'm gonna just finish installing this part right here. Okay. All right, guys, right here, that's where we're gonna remove this puppy right here. So what I'm looking, so right now I took out the chrome trim. Just take it out carefully because apparently this is like really glued on. 
and that's what was getting stuck and i was having trouble with that i don't really care about these uh headlights anymore i'm here trying to take out this plastic trim right here and i have to use a, a a flat head so i could get in between and help it pull out you see how it's kind of pulling out right now Be careful because that's this at least this one is important you don't want to like break it trying to squeeze it and that's it okay, we're gonna put it in the new headlight right here Okay. What the hell? Lift this out. Have a look. Okay. I'm gonna put the camera a little, a little more closer right here on the, on the, on the new light. What the company says is that it has like a breathing effect. Like uh, it, it turns blue and then it goes back to the white. I'm gonna do a couple more clips of different angles so you can see how it looks. So clearly this is how you do a, a, a start, double click, and then hold on to this. Now, did you see how this one turned white, but it turned blue, like it's breathing? So that's what the company wants to put on, like in their type of like style. All right, you guys, that's the final product. Now, wiring is not my thing. I have to take it back to the Henry Blit because my fault light ain't functioning well. And then they also have, they also have the, uh, the daylight running time as well. But I'm going to put it in park and you're going to see how it switches and turns. I'm going to do the left signal, right signal, hazards. And I'm going to do the, the normal lamp that when, when it's turned on. And you're going to see how it fully looks. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys like it. Uh, I'll let you guys know if there's any more problems. But for sure, it's just a me thing because I don't know how to do wiring. And hopefully, I'll, I'll do it in the next video when Henry like fixes up uh, my fog light. So you guys can see the, the fog lights, what I got. And maybe you guys that's something you guys are interested in, in buying as well. Letting you guys know, I, I actually got that from Amazon as well. Uh, I got those for 100 bucks. If you look closely, see this white LED bar? It's supposed to turn on pretty much, right? It's supposed to turn on and then it's supposed to match like this look right here where you have in the daylight running lights happening, right? They're not functioning because I don't have them wired and then I don't have like a wiring to kind of look like whatever Henry has right there. He knows how to do everything correctly for me. Uh, so I'm gonna take it back. Again, V-Land headlights. Highly recommend. Look pretty nice. It changes the look of the whole truck. For you guys that like the new gen style, uh, new body look, there it is. Leave a comment down below. I like the feedback that you guys give me. I like that how maybe some of you guys don't like the new style or aftermarkets. Maybe you guys like to stick to the OEMs. You know, conversation like that helps one another and maybe helps with their opinions. So for me, my opinion is, I like the you know the new gen look and 
it was a no-brainer for me to get it it wasn't as expensive as like the other uh headlights have you know what's six hundred dollars you know like uh it looks good and it matches well with the truck because it's a Silverado in this day uh please like and subscribe and then uh, stay tuned for more videos because i got a lot of uh, uh, contact to push out and then of course thank you again peace all right you guys here's a bonus clip right here we're here back at henry's uh shop right here at Maldonado customs and right here uh as you could tell in the end of the video we finished with the headlights and it turned out beaut and uh, he double checked everything everything seems working fine here's a little how it looks everything works functioning and you remember i tell you what these fog lights i got them at amazon as well and if you could tell in the edge there's a white led line now our daylight running time right and so right there pretty much I want to match it what the what the car is so hopefully it turns out nice from from the amazon videos and the, the pictures that look nice i'm gonna post a link on those fog lights as well if that's something you guys are interested but for sure this is a little bonus clip of the fog lights and we're gonna see him install it because again this comes in like all wiring and i don't know anything about that and so he's gonna have to connect everything so at least that functions of course i have the button to turn on the fog lights and they work how this how they're supposed to work but then again i want those to be on since i paid for them already so i want everything to function how they need to function okay what's up to henry what's up you guys so what are we going to be doing today we're hanging this up again so these come with options for like as he was saying the daytime running lights but the thing is they don't run off your factory um connector that goes straight into the fog so we got to run on a separate wire to your fuse box so right now you can get any kind of wire and it comes with the spade connectors but he forgot them so i'm uh I'm gonna connect them again. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 you know what? With the with the package that they came with those, but it only came like about maybe four inch of wiring. But since you know this guy has everything right here, uh, I kind of messed up on that. But he has everything right here to handle all that. And then you see what I mean? He's saying like a uh, fuse box. You know that's something that I I know zero shit about. You know, and so he has all the stuff right here to be connecting all that. And then the fuse box is of course located on the right side of the motor, uh, where the driver's side. And then right now we're gonna see the final result with, with, with everything that's happening. But uh yeah, yeah, stay tuned on that, all right? All right, all right guys. So anytime you do any of these, you know, headlight wiring or whatever you want, depending on how you want these to turn on. So the daytime running lights, we he wants it hooked up so whenever he turns the key, they're gonna be on. Obviously, during the daytime, you know, your headlights are gonna be on, so we need we need to find any fuse that the second you turn the key, it gives you 12 volt. 14 for when it's running, 12 for when it's when it's just like this, because of your, the engine's off. So we, you need to find any tap, because the tap that they provided, this is a mini fuse, all these are micro. So this one only works on these fuses, but those fuses turn on the um, your headlights, and but which which we don't want. We want it to be on constant, so we need to hook it up. We need to get another mini tap, a micro tap, and hook up to one of these small ones smaller ones so you gotta delete that one right there you gotta delete this one we gotta wire it somewhere else so if you guys don't know what, what he's trying to say you know when you try your vehicle clearly the daylight running times turn on automatically right he says that that area right there that i plugged in originally if i manually turn on my headlights which is the green light comes on then that fuse will activate and that's what you, we don't want. We want it to automatically activate when as soon as I turn on my car. I don't want to manually activate it. I want everything auto where it, tend to, where it tends to be. So right now, Henry's saying that I need to get a micro one. And I got to put in one of those uh, 15 one what, where they actually told me to put it, right? And so this one right here, the one that's right here, it's connected to the O2 sensor. And so the O2 sensor is always going to turn on as soon as I put ignition on, right? So we're going to make a little trip down to the auto parts store and get a fuse tap for so it could fit for one of those all right you guys so we got the new fuse tap right here and this was the micro one which we replaced the one that came with it a drop so right here we're gonna do it originally where it was which is on this 15 app and that 15 app is for the o2 sensor and that fits perfectly and now he's gonna clamp, clamp these together and he's gonna test them <clears throat> So he has the testing voltage meter right here so he can test everything. So we're gonna have everything set up right there. So smoking the 
Closing out the blunt. Or is that David it, you know? So right now, Henry's doing the connection of the new fuse tap. He's getting everything prepared. And from here, it just gets easy. <laughs> Alright, so right now we finished doing the wiring. So what do you do, Henry? What'd you do? Alright, so pretty much on the, the same um fuse step that we we're talking about, we just wired it directly to the fog lights. And so that's the end result. Right now we're gonna do a uh a remote start. But yeah, like uh like he mentioned, those white wires are the ones that are connected to fog lights. And it's only for daylight running time. So the other connection, it's only to activate them. And then those will keep staying on as long as, you know, once you turn on the truck, that'll be it. Right now, he's going to just finish up his wiring, clean it up nice. We're going to close the hood. And then we're going to see the final touch right now. So stay tuned on that. There you go. It works. That's it. So how hard was that, Henry? Stupid hard. You need like a master's degree. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's super easy. If you have anything to do with electrical, like just literally just connecting one wire. Well, two wires technically. One, two, and then back to the freeze box. So that's it, guys. That's the end of the video of this. Thank you uh, for watching. I know you guys were here originally for the VLAN headlights, but this is just like a little bonus for just in case you guys are a little interested in the fog lights. I think it, it you know, complements it since it's all LED, so it's gonna look pretty good. And these are, they stay on. As much as they stay, they stay on, it, it, that's how it's gonna be. And of course, they function as well. But uh, if you guys did like this video, please like and subscribe. And shout out to Henry Maldonado Customs for doing his thing because I don't know, I know zero shit about this shit. And then, uh, Please comment down below how, what do you guys think about these, you know? See you guys on the next one. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs>